So a common alternative to LASIK is a procedure called PRK or photorefractive keratectomy. Uh, PRK was actually one of the original laser vision correction procedures um, and it's done uh, without creating a flap in the cornea. Uh, the procedure is performed uh, by uh, removing the surface cells from the cornea then using the laser directly on the surface of the cornea. Uh, PRK works, works great. Um, it actually can achieve uh, vision essentially equal to LASIK. Um, so that we use the procedures interchangeably. One of the uh, differences though is that the recovery with PRK is a little bit slower because the surface cells need to be removed from the cornea in order to perform the procedure. Those surface cells, uh, just like a scratch on the skin, need to heal back up. Uh, in order to do this, we put contact lens uh, in the eye that acts as a bandage to help with that initial surface cell healing process. It typically takes about five to seven days after which the contact lens is taken out of the eye. Uh, the vision is improving over this time, uh, but even after the lens is removed, the vision is still not quite at its peak because the surface cells are lumpy and bumpy and need to smooth out uh, and flatten down, just like a scab on the skin needs to kind of uh, remodel itself over the next few weeks. So that whole process typically uh, takes another three or four weeks, and usually by about four to six weeks, patients are mostly recovered uh, from, the, from the procedure and have the vision that we're trying to achieve. Occasionally, it takes a little bit longer. Patients with higher corrections can take a month or two longer than that uh, to get the final recovery, but usually patients are really quite functional uh, and are seeing to drive well uh, uh, after the procedure within that time frame. PRK is chosen uh, for, uh, for patients who don't qualify for LASIK. That's to the, the typical reason why we'll, we'll think about that. When there may be subtle corneal shape abnormalities where we'll feel like PRK just leaves the cornea a little bit stronger or corneal um, health conditions where PRK uh, just makes better sense for that patient. Uh, still, it's a very effective uh, procedure and extremely good vision outcomes are, are achieved by the, by the PRK process, so it's really a great option to have.